I, uh, we're going to talk money. You guys like talking about money, right? I know I do. Even though your girl ain't got much. <laughs> but no, for real. Um, if you guys don't know, I'm dealing with depression right now. Um, some days are better than others. And just to give you a backstory, I quit my full-time job back in April. Did not give a two-week notice. I was not in the right mindset, but at the same time, I just knew that the job itself was draining me. It was not something that I just did out of the blue. It's something that I have thought about since like 2018 because it just, my depression just got, it, it just took longer for me to get out my funks and working. It's, it's just, it was just an ongoing battle. So I ended up quitting since then, um, your girl. <laughs> your girl has been struggling okay struggling to work struggling to feel better as I mentioned some days are better than others I try to document my not day to day but I try to document how I'm feeling because depression for everybody is different but sometimes it's good to see the inside of it because some people just don't know because a lot of people hide how they're feeling if i'm having a bad day i'll let you guys know if i wash up i'll let you guys know <laughs> if i'm not doing laundry if i'm not doing dishes i'll let you guys know you know depression right now for me is something that is like paralyzing me like i want to do things but I don't want to do things. I know it's really, really confusing because it's kind of like a battle on the inside. I want to work, but then at the same time, I get so anxious that I just cuddle up in bed. I, I told you guys about that recently. So it's just, it's a battle on the inside and it's very, very frustrating. It's very, very sad. And I tried to share that with you guys. Because um, just coming out the blue and saying something, it probably wouldn't make any sense. But you guys have been rocking with me for some time now. And y'all understand that your girl be going through it. <laughs> and yes, I, I, most of the times I always have a smile on my face. That's just the type of person I am. I like to show off my pretty teeth. So yes. But anyways, that just kind of gives you a backstory of what I'm dealing with. So that was since April, right? So, money. Your girl had 30,000 saved up. We saved 30,000 in 14 and a half months, almost 15 months, 16 months. I think it was 14 months. We saved 30,000. And did I really want to touch the savings? No, but it's there for a reason, right? It's there for a reason. And when I quit my job, I felt very, very nervous because my main focus was healthcare. And I'm like, if I have to pay out of pocket, healthcare costs a lot of money. Not thinking that I would qualify for Medicaid. Is it Medicaid or Medicare? I forgot which one I'm on, but I will say Medicaid. I don't know which one it is but anyways um that was my main thing getting health care for me and my son very very important i was qualified now i will say this somebody did ask me do they take into consideration your savings when i fill out the forms for public assistance i put down how much i have in my our my my ira I let them know how much I have in savings. So I'm very honest because I don't want anything to backfire on me. This is not the time to be lying and then getting something for free. And then I'm not supposed to get it for free. I make sure I, I'm very honest on everything. Just like I'm honest with you guys. I'm honest with the system. I let them know this is how much I have in savings. This is how much I have in my retirement or for it was my 401k but now it's in an ira and i still qualify for food stamps or snap benefits and medicaid or medicare 
So I got that out the way with. Now the other thing I'm dealing with is paying out of pocket to see my psychologist and psychiatrist. I used to see my psychologist, which is like the therapist, like twice a month. Sometimes four times a month, but usually let's say twice a month. But now I'm paying out of pocket. Do I have to pay out of pocket? No. Because with Medicaid, Medicare, whatever one I'm on, I think it's... You know what? Let me get it right. All right. So it's Medicaid. Okay. Um, I am able to see a psychologist and psychiatrist free of charge. But my thinking is, if you don't know, back in June, I put in an application for SSDI, which is Social Security Disability Insurance, because my depression... As I'm getting older, it just gets worse. Like, it's harder for me to get out the funks. And I'm just trying to see if I can qualify for it. No, I don't want to be on it forever. I say this all the time. I don't want to be on it forever. I'm a worker, you know. Me sitting at home not doing anything, it's a lot. <laughs> it's very frustrating. It's boring. And I know people may say, Ken, let's get a hobby, but... I have hobbies. I have things that I like to do. I like to do hair. But with depression, the stuff that you like to do, you don't have that willpower to even do it. Like, it's just like, I want to do it. But at the same time, it's just like, no, you don't want to do it. So it's like that fight on the inside. And I haven't done anything. You guys see my hair? It's just natural. Um, where was I going with this? <laughs> um... So, yeah, um, I applied for SSDI. I got denied for non-medical reasons. And the non-medical reason is because the person, when they called me, they said that I work at Amazon 16 hours per week. I don't work at Amazon 16 hours per week. I, I work there for at least 12 hours per month. And I always just do the minimum, you know, especially right now, I just do the minimum. But you guys know recently I did apply for a medical leave of absence because Amazon gets me worked up. My anxiety gets to me. I shut down and I just crawl into my bed and I will shut down for the full day just thinking about working. And it's not a good feeling. Um. So, yeah, I know this is a long video, but bear with me. OK, we're going to get into the numbers. I'm just trying to get some backstory as to what's going on so yeah um so i uh, hired an attorney a disability attorney and we put it in for a pill for ssdi and right now we're just waiting to see what happens but at the same time the reason why i'm saying this is because my I pay out of pocket for my psych psychologist and psychi psychologist and psychiatrist out of pocket because I already have a relationship with them and it's easy for me to get my, how can I say it? It's easy for me to get my records. I can, I have access to my records very easily. They're very, most of the time, very thorough. And I could just print it out. So for SSDI, when they ask for documentation, I can give it to them like, like this, you know. Uh, so that's why I still work with the psychologist and psychi psychiatrist and pay out of pocket for visiting them. I have cut back to like um, every month, month and a half, even though I would like to see them, especially my psychologist sooner. But that's okay um, because it's just nice to talk things out. But that's one re that is the main reason why I'm not using the free service. Um, just because I have access and I already have a relationship with them, and in turn, I can use all of my medical records for SSDI, and it just makes it more streamlined for me. Okay. So one thing I was doing. Um, I had to think of something like how long will my money last me for? I had 30,000 saved up. 
out of this 30,000, like 1,700 had to go back to my full-time job because I used up too much vacation time, okay? Your girl used up too much vacation time in the beginning of the year, which I knew this, I knew this. And then when I quit, I owed them my vacation time back, okay? Because they paid me for a vacation time that I really did not accrue at that point. So I owed them 1,700 bucks back. So that's like almost close to two weeks of pay, okay? So that came out of the 30,000. So that brings us down to what, 28, 20, yeah, $28,000. So $28,000, how long will it last me, okay? So I was thinking, um, so we've been out since, so let's say since uh, May. May, June, July, August, September. I've been out of work for five months and your girl has used over almost like $5,000, which is not bad. Not bad at all because you fig you have to take into consideration that I was working at Amazon and before I was working at Kohl's. I quit Kohl's, I think back in June or July. I think probably July. I quit Kohl's, cold turkey once again. And I'm just in this mood where I'm like, I just want to give up everything. And that's not the right way of doing things. Like, I'm, I need to ask for help. And I'm just like, I just give up. I just give up. So I don't know if I can even go back to Kohl's. I don't know. <laughs> even if I wanted to, it's just that I'm leaving all of these jobs and just giving up, you know, and not leaving on good terms, which is not a good thing. That's not even me, but that's just the mental state that I'm in right now that I'm just like, I don't care. Give my hand, put my hands up in the air and just like, let things be. So... Currently, okay, so we know that we have 28000 to play with, right, out of my 30000 Currently, as of right now, we have $22,970.63. And I'm thinking if we're looking at it like this, we should be able to and that's just why budgeting is so important to me because I can just look at these things right here and see how much did I borrow for this month? What were my bills? Looking at all of these things, I should be able to live off at least, it would be a little bit less than $2,000 per month, but I'm just going to say, $2,000 per month should suffice for me to pay my bills, which we have. That includes my credit card bills with the psychologist and psychiatrist visits. Um, and it includes the car, my son's car payment. So... $22,970.63 should last us for 10 months. Now, we're not done with uh, September just yet. We have another... We have another week left of September. But that shouldn't... That should be around... Probably with... Um, my cash envelopes that should be like six hundred dollars so that should still bring us to like twenty two thousand three hundred dollars which is still not bad and this is me just thinking that if i'm just living off my savings if i'm not working at all like recently i've been wanting to work like a seasonal job but once again i get into my funk so i'm just like i give up i don't want to burn my bridges everywhere I go right now because of how I'm feeling. I don't want to be like, I'm working, I'm working, I'm working. And then I'm just like, I don't care. I give up. I quit and not give like a two week notice. And then 
it may be a place that I really like working at and I can't go back there because I did not do things the right way. So yeah, <laughs> it's it's just a lot to really take in. And I know what I'm saying, it may be new for some of you that are watching, but it's not new for people that have been following my journey for a while now. But I just wanted to give a backstory all in one video because with my videos, I'm kind of like, I share things day to day, you know, and it's just nice to just get everything under one video so that everybody understands where I'm coming from or understands my situation. So, yeah, so far, I mean, we're doing pretty good, I believe. Um, if I'm saying that we have 10 months of savings still left and I've been out since let's say may so may june july august september we've already been out for five months let's say that has thirty thousand has lasted would have lasted 15 months which is over a year which is over yeah that's, that's a year and three months which is very very good um i will say this I worked hard for the money. I don't feel like I worked hard for the money for my savings, but I, in turn, I did in a way. Um, and I have videos on how I saved up the money as well or where the money came from. But most of it was for me working and hustling. But not just that, it came from me living a simple lifestyle I'm very happy for that, that I'm very, I have, I live very minimal, minimum, minimal. Um, I don't do a lot of shopping. A, a bulk of my, my shopping was for additional food, but I qualify for SNAP benefits. So I don't have to worry about that right now. So that's a blessing. I don't have to worry about paying for health care. That's a blessing. Um, and everything else is just up to me. It's up to me, you know. If I want, like, I, I tell people, like, if we want something, we will get it. Like, just because I'm on a budget, um, it doesn't mean that I'm depriving me or my son anything. We are not deprived. It's just being, we're just being smart with our money and making our money stretch. And I think that's very important to share and to show. Um, I share my monthly budgets or my weekly budgets so you guys know where things are coming from. But a bulk of it, the only things that vary is my credit card payments, which is okay. Um, one thing I do want to mention is I'm doing a savings challenge, okay? Now you guys may say, Candace, how are you doing a savings challenge? if you ain't got no money coming in like seriously like candace you're using your savings to pay for your bills how are you how on earth are you saving up money now i'm going to show you budgeting d here on youtube she is the first part in my description box down below so if you are interested in these challenges or getting these printouts check her Etsy shop out. She did a video about it. And I'm just like, like in my mind, I'm like, Candace, I'm thinking the same way y'all was thinking like, Candace, how are you going to use your savings to save up money? Like that just doesn't make any sense, <laughs> but it does because I, with my variable expenses, my cash envelopes, there are certain things that your girl can cut back on even more. And I've showed these uh, in the past. I've done this in the past before, but now I can incorporate it into a savings challenge on paper. Say forth, if I we don't eat out for the month, we give ourselves $10 per week for me and Jamez to eat out if we want to. But if we don't, then we can save up $40 per month. And that $40 was already allocated towards the budget, right? 
So now we can just incorporate it into a savings. And this is something that I want to save up for. Um, I want to save up for a trip in the future. So sometime next year, we want to go back down to Florida. And this will really help out at that point. And yeah. <laughs> so that's how I plan on doing it. Let me show you how the now she has three different maybe ones she has a 26 week challenge and there's another challenge i believe she has on her etsy shop but i just printed out the maybe one and the 26 week challenge even though i know i won't be using it anytime soon but i still took it because between now and july of next year your girl may be may start to feel better the medications that we're trying out may start to work. Who knows? I may be in a better position. I may be back at work. You just never know. Um, but in the meantime, we're just talking about the budget of using my savings. Okay, so let me turn you guys around. All right, so I figured that this one would be best for me because the maximum amount you have to save up is $25 and once you cross out all of these this is $400 and I thought that would be a good way for me uh, to challenge myself um, and Jamez to not eat out to cut costs with our variable expenses and we will cross these out at the end of the month so sometimes if we have like $40, $50, I can cross out two of these at a time. Um, but we have $5, you know, it's not, it's not a lot. And this will save up $400, you guys. I have to get like a Sharpie so I can like cross things out. But I laminated it because I do plan on using this over and over. Um, but yeah, this is it. This is the maybe challenge. She has one that's like 700 and I think something like a thousand or something for the maybe challenge. But this one is really good for me because I, even though, even though um, I'm using my savings, this is something that's very doable if we were to cut costs. And yeah, and this will make me feel good as well to incorporate some savings. So yeah, y'all, that's what I plan on doing. Um, just wanted to share with you the challenge, savings challenge that I will be doing. Wanted to give you where we stand with my current savings. Um, I really hope that we can figure out, not figure out, but I hope that these i i'm on a new medication called latuda it's for bipolar but um hopefully we'll see how this works i just started it last week or earlier no earlier this week so we'll take a couple weeks um if you guys don't know i did put in an application for a job that i really 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 wanted and they reached out to me. I got a second interview, but I never signed up for the second interview. I let them know that something came up. And like a lot of people are saying, Candace, don't, don't force yourself to think that, basically don't force yourself to think that you're okay. Take this time to really get better. And that's hard for me to do because being, especially being a single mom, it's just like, you just never know what can come your way, you know, like this 22 or almost close to 23,000, it can be gone in an instant, you know, if something were to come up and what do I have to fall back on? I don't have nobody to fall back on. Um, so yeah, it's just, it's just very hard. Uh, to be this type of person that I am really focusing on myself. Do I feel like I'm really focusing on myself and my mental health right now? Um, 
no not really um just because i i'm thinking about so many things like i want to work so bad but at the same time i'm trying to apply for social security disability for some income to come in as i mentioned i don't want to be on it forever if it does get approved yay me <laughs> yay me that will allow me to really 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 allow me to sit back and hope for the best for the stuff that I don't know I don't know I I am you know I followed the treatments that my psychiatrist give me you know we have some ups and downs with the medications and it's hard trying to, you know it's hard doing something and then for something to give you an a bad reaction like I have restlessness and it's not a good feeling it made me feel crazy it made me want to hurt myself it was just a lot and now I'm on this new medication and it's just like I'm trying to go along with the treatment plan and it's just trial and error trial and error and I've been doing this for years now you guys it's not something brand new it's something I've been doing for years since what 2000 my husband passed away in 2013. So it was something I started back in 2013, being on medication, I got off the, of the medication, lost all my weight, and then I went back into a depressed state again. And then 2018, I started, meh, like 2017, 2018, I started back up again with my medication. And it's just, it's just been an ongoing battle. So I don't know you guys I really do want a, a little job but at the same time want something that's going to be it, it has to be at least 20 hours or less uh, and that's kind of hard to find as well um for what I'm seeing like there are part-time jobs where they're like oh it will be at least 28 hours or less I'm like I need less than 20 hours per week um, cause you can't make that much, uh, social security disability. And that's the thing that I'm trying to think of in the meantime, but people are just like, can just take it slow. And that's just not me. Like, I really do just want to work, have a job, but at the same time, I just don't want to give up on it and not have a good reputation with another job because of my mood, you know? So it's, it's very frustrating, um. But I really wanted to talk money with you guys. Hopefully this wasn't too long and drawn out. But it just gives you a backstory for me. Where we're at. How much longer I have to. If nothing else comes in. And just living off of my savings. Not my 401k. But just my savings. We have 10 more months. So we will have a total of 15 months. That we are living off of. Um. And that's amazing. That's amazing. So, yeah, y'all. I will talk to you guys soon. Thank you guys for watching. Comment down below any questions or any comments that you have. And I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.